previously on Kidnapped. The airport came did not disappear in the thin air. Somebody saw something, somebody knows something. So why no local chatter on this? These guys are pros. They kill at least one of their own right out of the gate. Sends a message to anyone who might feel chatty. Someone went down the sunny side, ventilated Jimmy Sullivan. How's he been doing lately? He's great. He's really good. Is he great? Or really good? Kellogg's been calling him. Can we talk? Or is it a bad time? Oh, that really screwed you up, huh? What's he say? He won't tell me. You're my kid, okay? You do anything that makes him think otherwise. You're my dead kid. What about Mrs. K? First she called Daddy, but Daddy wasn't available. Who's Daddy? Benjamin Rand. Rand. Okay, who's that? Read a magazine. I don't think I can do this. Remember when you told your father you were gonna marry me? Yeah. Got a match on Schroeder. Real name's Devere. James Devere. Stop right there. Stop right there. Where's that one? We're talking insulation, my friend. Remember that. We've been asking ourselves the wrong question here. It's not someone on the inside. No. It's not someone. Turn it off! Show me exactly what you did. Pantomime or real? Just what'd you do? How'd you how'd you do that? What wait, wait, no, first first we have to uh roll a piece of paper. Stop the bleeding. You can take it off before you go to school. Just leave that on there for a while. I didn't want to ruin the bloody effect. Oh, because I'm late for work. <sighs> okay, now I'm gonna be able to get like this. You know, you just wanna like. <laughs> the cameras, Roger, in my house, everywhere, in the walls, in the vents, in the bedrooms, they're watching us like rats. Well, listen to me, Connie, it's about Jimmy Sullivan. Well. I want their eyes, Roger, I want back everything they've seen. I'm the subject of things that were in the house and weren't supposed to be. Hold on. Yeah. Conrad. Ellie. Can I find any more cameras? We have a room except the bathroom. What a relief. Hey, do me a favor. Stop acting like you're the only one this is happening to. Excuse me? Oh, I'm just trying to clear my. Leo. Twenty bucks. I hope you find your friend Leon. Mr. Kane. Thank you. Come All right. Thanks, man. Five. Thank you. Conrad. Conrad, are you okay? No, I'm. I'm. Uh... <coughs> what was that? Oh my God! There's. I gotta go. Clothes. Do you know that when Uncle Artie died, I started getting undressed under the covers because I didn't want his ghost to see me naked? Do you know what this is doing for my body, dysmorphia? Honey. I'm... Honey. Oh, my God! I am going to kill whoever did this! All right. They've been watching me. I know. I know. It sucks. We have to leave. No. This is Leo's home. It's where he's going to come back to us, and we have to be here for him. Okay? Mrs. Kane! Where is he? In the study, ma'am. 
My brother liked to pretend that one thing was another. <laughs> Grandpa? Aubrey. Elliot. Grandpa said this book was yours. I would like to talk to your grandfather. Girls, alone. Bye, Grandpa. Bye-bye, sweetheart. I was at a dinner party in Washington. We were in between courses when the director of the FBI leaned in, put a hand on my knee, and said, don't worry, it'll be okay. I assumed he was talking about the bisque. I'm sorry, I couldn't tell you. He's my grandson. Can't trust your own father. I said I was sorry. Yes, you did, but the dog still needs to be walked. Oh, please do not start with the old fortune cookie routine. We have all the help we need. Oh, and they've done a bang-up job so far. I've been briefed. Oh, really? You've been briefed? Stay out of this. We've hired a professional. Nap? Yeah, I know all about this man you've hired to find my grandson. Question is, do you? English, please. Did you ever think to do a background on him? I'm all that stands between you and darkest night, my dear. They ready for you downtown, sir. Daddy. It'll be okay. I should have found this camera. I don't believe this old guard freak. Uh, I should have swept the house. Did you use his words? I, I've never heard, like, Fico Ventilator. I don't know you why. You a sentence. Uh, who? Benjamin Rand. Oh, and then he tells me to send a bill to his office, as if we did that. What are you talking about? Oh, we were fired. By her father. Fired? Because of Not the Not because of the cameras. Something to do with... I don't know, find out what Fico Ventilator means. So where are we on those cameras? I thought we were fired. Well, that guy, yeah, right. They're three generations ahead. The guys who'll be using these haven't even been born yet. So why the hell didn't you find them? That's what I've been asking myself all morning. Well, you've been kicking your own ass for not finding them. What I'm asking is why didn't you find them? Because you can't find what you're not looking for? So you couldn't find them because you weren't looking for them and you weren't looking for them because they don't belong. So why were they there? I don't know. What is a kidnapping at its core? Transactional. That's right. If you're a kidnapper, you care more about money than you do about people. It's a business. But cameras? Cameras are personal. Hey, good morning, Marco. Sorry, sir. Does this mean I hit the snooze button my alarm this morning? <laughs> are you blocking me? Sorry, sir, no one enters. Those are the orders. Says who? It's no use. It's like talking to a blender. What's going on? Off limits. Says who? The director is in there right now. With the beer? Yeah, and he looked very serious, like he didn't have teeth. Came in with this older guy with lots of teeth. Still no smile. Excuse me. doing here anyway? From what we call a crap job, sir. Ah, uh, because of what I did yesterday? Because of what I did yesterday. Yeah, because of what you did yesterday. Oh, what would you have done if you were in my position? It's none of my business, sir. Oh, come on, just you guys talking our hats off. What would you have done? Yes, sir. Exact same thing? Hey, you gone right, Kane? <laughs> Hold a second, we're cops, we're cops! Why the hell didn't you say anything? Shut your mouth. We can speak with you downtown, Mr. Kane. About what? The murder of Jimmy Sullivan. Let's go. Did you think to tell us you were in a sanitarium? No. Or that you were fired by the FBI? Nope. What about the girl, the one you lost? My father says you've become obsessed. You want to tell me about that? No. Then you leave me no choice but to fire you. Give me one reason why I shouldn't. Your husband's been arrested. Why? Well, that's where it gets murky. Two officers approached him in the park to question him about the murder of Jimmy Sullivan, and he assaulted one of the officers. But is he in jail for questioning or assault? I don't understand. Well, the arresting officers were plainclothes detectives, which means your husband had no way to identify them as why police. Why would they send plainclothes detectives? It's detectives to arrest a man? Why? That's the question. Unless, of course, 
provocation was intended by your father. Is that what you think happened? Yeah. Right. Suicide. Poor man's time machine. You're already at the bottom of a black bag, son. Your own parents have forgotten you yeah, were ever born. Yeah, blah, blah, blah. It is difficult to negotiate with a man who has nothing to lose. Your wife. You son of a bitch. She'll be put on a plane. The pilot has been given two flight plans. One to a beach town in Costa Rica. The other to a country with a thriving sex trade where her English cries will be misconstrued as sounds of ecstasy. You may be dead, but she'll go on living. Exactly how she does is entirely up to you. What will it be, Mr. DeVere? The DA will offer immunity from prosecution. We created a trust fund in his wife's name. Mr. Rand? Agent King? Could I have a minute? You can have as many as you like as soon as this is over. I'd sell for one or two right now, so. Excuse us. One minute. I know you think you're helping your grandson. I know I'm helping my grandson. You're a civilian taking over a federal investigation. With all due respect, you're out of your depth, sir. Don't assume you know where I begin and end, Agent. You think this is business? These criminals are not like the criminals that you're used to dealing with, sir. In these waters, there's an undertow that you can't possibly know from where you sit perched. This is not business. This is war. I don't think business is a kind of war. Of course I do. But if you lose this negotiation, these people will set fire to you and everything you care about in this world. They don't think of you as rich and powerful, Mr. Rand. They just think of you as rich. Let me do my job, please. Minutes up. What's going on? Look, they won't let me talk to anybody. I mean, am I under arrest? What are they? You're these? in limbo. What does that mean? It means you stay in here while they figure out what it means. Why? Why? Because the intelligence community is like a blind man picking watermelons in a pumpkin patch in the middle of July. It doesn't make any sense. Yeah, neither does the intelligence community. What does this have to do with the intelligence community? Then your father-in-law once held a policy post over at the CIA. Oh, boy. Ben. Mr. Kane, they can hold you for 48 hours. I need to talk to the mayor. Well, he won't be taking your no, calls. No, see, yeah, I play racket, but he's yeah, well, This yeah. week, he'll be playing squash with your father-in-law. Did you come down here all this way just to tell me this? No, I came down here to tell you it's raining outside. Where's your umbrella? All right, now, don't, don't write any of this down. How dare you have him arrested? What, are you insane? No, do not even start. Whatever it is you did, just undo it. I am not going to argue with you about this. Do not even mention my mother's name. And by the way, I don't think she's dead. I think she's hiding. Maria, I drew the police station. at immunity from prosecution a sizable trust in your wife's name and a land grant i don't know where the kid is the kid is my grandson his name is leopold rand kane 
And you know how to contact the people who do. I call someone who calls someone who calls someone. Then that's where we'll start. I'd like to talk to my wife. I promise everything's going to be all right, sweetheart. Who are these men? They're, um... They're friends of mine, and, and they're... they're, they're good. They're gonna make sure that you arrive all right. What about you? I need to go, babe, okay? I love you. One thing I could never understand, wrap my head around, was that Hitler had a dog. <laughs> you of all people should understand the world is not black and white. Just make the call. situation yes well it's been altered by benjamin rand he'll pay 40 million dollars and guarantee safe passage for the safe return of his grandson what happened they hung up what does that mean it means they're considering it Federal investigation. But technically, he's not. He says he's working in an advisory capacity. Then why did he get you thrown off the case? Why? Because he says he doesn't want to work with agents who might resent his advice. <laughs> who does he have in his pocket? Be easy to list who he doesn't have in his pocket. What's this? A file on Benjamin Rand. It's empty. Hey, Latimer. How you like working for your new boss? Well, I tell him to piss off, except I'm 20 years from pension and I don't have a rich wife. I'm sorry, I, di I didn't... Look, I didn't have a choice. This guy's got the director's backing and I don't much care for Boise, Idaho. These decisions, they're being made at the highest level right now. Down here on the lower level, my brother-in-law is laying half dead in a hospital bed. Four agents have been killed during the course of this investigation. You know, Rand's making a deal with the kidnappers through DeVere. They set the terms? Yeah, made an offer. Doubled the ransom. We're waiting to hear back. Do you think this could work? Not if we're going by the conventional definition. Just make sure he gets proof of life. This is my friend, Devlin Whitehead. Friend, huh? Yeah. Do you know your friend here is, uh... One of the top criminal attorneys in the state of New York? Yeah. I heard he once pled a first-degree murder down to a parking violation. And Mr. Whitehead is here to make sure I don't put my foot in my mouth or your mouth like this morning. So am I under arrest or what? <laughs> you assaulted a police officer, pal. You didn't tell me you were a police officer. You get the chance. You were reaching inside your coat. My bad. I thought it was a gun. You look nothing alike. Anyway, as long as I got you here, Jimmy Sullivan, he was at your party on the 18th of March. Right? Yeah. Sullivan left you home at what time? Uh, it was around midnight. Did he say goodbye? Yeah. Did you and he talk at length? Yeah, yeah, we, uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Nothing? Mr. Kane, how would you define your relationship with Mr. Sullivan? We were old friends, fell out of touch. But he was at your party. He showed up. Uninvited? Yeah. How'd that make you feel? Well, you know, it pissed me off. That's why I killed him. <laughs> That's fantastic. I tell you what, you want to write that down for me and sign it? I'll be out of your hair.
helping your father blackmail your grandfather to get him out of jail. Cool. What is it? I promised I wouldn't look. Well, what's the fun in that? I saw your medical file. You have leukemia. The secret's out. So, what is this then? Life insurance? You did all this for her, your wife? Leave her something after you were gone? Yeah. My own wife died seven years ago. I came home from the Gulf, found my old lady with a woman. <laughs> Finding your lady with another lady, man, that is some demoralizing. I mean, at least if it's a man, you know, you have some course of action you can take. Anyway, I met Kelly, started over. We were on our honeymoon, Cancun. Uh, we were getting those side-by-side -side massages out on the veranda. And I was thinking to myself, wow, everything is back on track. When this little Mexican number massaging me says, you need to go to the doctor, Mr. DeVere. Some kind of knot in my neck. So we get home, uh, I see the doc. He says, one year. And there you have it, sports fans. Matt, you're not supposed to be okay, here. Okay, I brought know. my invitation. Hello, Lucian. Did you look at this? No. Get the mayor. No. Thank you. Yeah. Could you pass the phone to my father-in-law? It's for you. Hi, Dad. Don't crack wise with me. Just because you can move a couple of pieces around doesn't make you a chess player. Now you listen to me, old man, or I'll knock you down more than a few pegs. Indicate that I have your attention. You have it. Good. What's going on with my son? I'm waiting for them to call. I put an offer on the table. Uh, one nap and King reinstated on the case. You indicate to me that you've heard me. Yeah. Good. showed up, started playing God. That'd be a demotion to him. You know the man? We met him a couple times. He has a thing for Leo, wants to mold him in his own image, stuff like that. How about her, you know her? Who is she, I can't place her. Is she involved? I'll add her to my list. You take it easy, huh? You already have more cooks than we do skillets, you know what I mean? These people we're dealing with do not speak the same language as you. That's okay. I'll use small words. And I won't say more than I have to. Hello. Strike exchange, one location. Leopold for the money. How do you guarantee safety? I have executive authority. We need a private jet. I've guaranteed you safety of passage. I'll be damned if I'm providing you with a jet which you can perfectly well get on your own. That's for proof of life. Snap, stay out of this. I want a proof of life. A phone call with Leopold or no deal. Now, if you turn this offer down, I'll know my grandson's dead. Yeah. Okay. Who's that? I'm scheduling a phone call. Get ready, kid. Looks like you're going home. What are you doing? Getting ready to send the kid home. What 
we get on Rand. Born Benjamin Ezekiel Rand, 1933, Tulsa. Grandpa bought a ranch, turned out to be the largest domestic oil reserve in the state of Oklahoma. Now, how much family's worth is uh, hidden in a labyrinth of trusts and foundations, all of which are controlled by Mr. Rand. But here's the thing that is most interesting. Have they called? Not yet. Get, get him out of here. No. I want him here. Mr. Rand, can I talk to you in private? No. OK. Uh, is there a reason that you're such a major supporter for the Fund for Missing Children? Pardon me. Leo is not the first child in your family to go missing, is he? had a brother. He was taken when he was four. A man was arrested. But my brother was not found. Is there more to this story? Now, what the hell does that mean? Is there a serial kidnapper hidden in the attic of the family castle? Not in this century. In what century, then? Put it on speaker. Hello? Mom? Leo! Leo. Oh, God. Mom. Oh, God, Leo. Are you all right? I'm okay. Are you taking your pills? Yeah. Are they feeding you? I just had breakfast. Oh, God. Leo, we're gonna bring you home, okay? Let's go. I gotta go home. No, Leo, wait! Oh, Leo, Leo! have proven effective. Do you ever get tired of listening to yourself speak? As an objective third party, I can say he does not. Shut up. What organism could be lower than you? Uh, I don't know. I give up. What? What could my son mean to you? What do you hope to cash him in for? Hmm? Car? Boat? Maybe a house? Um, a car, a boat, and a house. Maybe even a houseboat. I don't expect you to understand. Try me. <laughs> you don't know what it's like down here with the rest of us. What is it like? You never wanted for anything in your entire life. <sighs> but imagine, just, just imagine for a second that you didn't hit the genetic lotto with Daddy Warbucks over here. Imagine that you actually had to work for what you want. And imagine that, despite all of your hard work, that your dreams evaded you. No two-car garage in your future, not to mention all the useless crap you've got. And then one day, uh, a man says to you, you can trade in your life for the one you work so hard for. But there's a catch, you see. That catch is that that Life belongs to somebody else. And so, you gotta take it. No. Why should I have nothing when you have everything? Oh, jeez. Now him, I can't argue with. I mean, it's not even like he had to marry a dog. Why didn't I think of that? Whoa, 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 whoa. No, ah, come on. Ah. Calm down, calm down, calm down. Take it easy, take it easy. I'll speak, I'll speak. Hello? Benjamin Rand. I'm here. 40 million in U.S. currency. Where? Have Mr. DeVere released. You will act as courier. You'll be the driver. DeVere? No. Those are the terms. Hello. Wow, these cuffs are killing me. I don't think you should kill the kid. I agree. You agree? Yeah. OK. I mean, not that I'm opposed to killing the kid. Six billion people on the planet. You stand to lose one more. Not to mention I'm not particularly fond of that kid. That being said, I think we should settle the matter democratically. 
What's that mean? It means like, you know, you flip a coin or the equivalent. See who's gonna do it. Are you crazy? Doesn't matter. Heads or tails? No. No, no, it's not an answer. I said heads or tails. I'm not doing this it. This is a job, I don't. This is part of the job. I can dig two graves as easily as I can dig one. Heads or tails? Heads. Tails. Don't sweat it, amigo. Nothing that a couple of tropical drinks can't erase. You know what? I'm gonna go lay down. The beer's in the main car with the money. Mr. Rand, as instructed, we'll be driving. Mr. Rand, do you have a driver's license? Excuse me. Uh, liability. It's expired. Mike, take care of that. Great. All right, we're using three tail cars. You will use the ABC method on the tail. When we get to the drop, park the cars, turn off the lights, and wait. Nobody makes a move until I call it out. I will not call it out until I have absolute confirmation that Leopold Kane is present. If he's gone, we're gone. Mr. Kane, we've already been through this. No, no, stuff. no. No discussion. We're going. Agent King. Kane's are in a fourth car. Follow car. Back in you at the wheel. Last but not least, be ready for anything. All right, that's it. I'm really going to let Devere out of custody. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Man, I got to learn to play racquetball. Those cases, man. Yeah. Heavy. Forty million dollars. Four thousand pounds. Is that right? I can see the weight of any load of currency by denomination. You missed your calling. What are you getting at? All right. We're using a steel reinforced SUV to transport the money. My question is, what are the bad guys using? We need an insurance policy on the VR. Agreed. Help me out. Uh, he can't be in here. Do me a favor, fellas. Just give me a minute. So, how do I look? Clumsy. Whoa, whoa, easy. I'm gonna write my congressman. Oh! Oh! Ah! Tell him I did that. Okay, I'm all softened up now. Ah! So what's the play? Play? Mm -hmm. Um, I run to, down to the end of the block, cut left, and you throw me the ball? Yeah, how are you gonna catch when all your fingers are broken? You know these people. How are they gonna move the money? I don't know. Is oh. Leopold Kane gonna be at the drop? What do you think? What are you putting in me? Radiant compound. Are you gonna let him do that to me? Do what? Oh, I'm sorry, man. I, I spaced. Sorry about that. smiling at. I was just thinking if the folks back home could see me now. What now? Drive to the end.
Where's Leo? You are not calling the shots. Unload the suitcases. from the car to wait with the cases. Now, hold on. You... This is the last time I will tell you to shut up, Mr. Rand. After that, if you want your grandson back, I will mail him to you in pieces. Get out of the car. It's been real, old man. He said to stand down. Relax. Give me his pill. When I would oh. shut up and take your pill. Why? 
Watch your money.